What's up, Whoa! guys? We're back. Finally. Oh, shit. It takes us forever to get go. this damn thing off the ground, right? What's up, guys? We are back, finally. E3 kicked our asses. How long have we gone? Two months? Two months. I don't know. Two months. Too fucking long. Yeah. Was, what a, what a, yeah. <laughs> we were gone long enough. Get All this right, asshole yeah, hey, on the screen, damn it. Right, here, there we go. There Look he is. Oh, right right there. Well, welcome back, guys. As you can tell, we're back to our live format. The uh, the pre recorded. Hopefully not for a while. Yeah, shoot, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. It was not working out for us, but we're back. We're gonna change the format a little bit too. We're gonna change. We're gonna cut the news down because you know the news is important to cover. But it nobody was, gives it was, a shit. Yeah, Jeff says nobody gives a shit about the news. So we'll still cover news, just not like we used to with an entire dedicated segment. So. What do we have on tap for the news this week? That one thing? Yeah, that I'll one you, thing. I'll tell you what we have. I'm drinking this Go Girl energy drink, and it's delicious. Oh, really? <laughs> yep, everybody out there. Jeff's wearing a Chicago Bull shirt. At least that's what it looks like from here. Great. Definitely. He's got the Go Girl I shirt. Can see yeah. that. <laughs> go, go Scotty Pippen. Yeah, there you go. All right, on with yeah. the news. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's roll into it here. This thing, this is what, a week or so old? But uh oh, Tomb yeah. Raider is going to Xbox, and it's an exclusive. Too bad. Oh, yeah, there great. it is. Didn't Sony do this? This okay. This to me is not a big deal. Like whatever. Well, I, to me, it's cry, like cry why? More. Yeah, cry but why? More, why would boys. you just make the sequel like an Xbox exclusive? Like you, for oh, the, yeah, first, the first, the yeah, first game was it was it was both, and now it's like oh, we're only gonna make this exclusive to Xbox. But I, it's it's only it's just gonna be a timed exclusive. Like obviously they're gonna come out with it. At yeah, some they point. just paid. Uh, Microsoft, the big bus. Squaresoft. Yeah. Crystal Dynamics, who makes these games? <laughs> yeah. Now? Yeah. Well, paid them a bunch of money, so it's a timed exclusive. Yeah. I didn't even finish the first Tomb Raider. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was good. It was. I, what I, I played think, was great. It was all right. You mean the first Tomb Raider from 1995, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's, 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 That's it's what we're really, talking it's, about. It's really good. Polygon, polygon boobs That's and everything. Really cool. Eats me every time. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, my thing is like, yeah, cry more, fanboys. Just buy the Xbox One then if you want to play it, or get it on PC. Like, like that's dumb. Did you see the it backlash? Seems like, this? like they got so mad about that. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, it makes. I don't. Yeah. Care. I don't. I don't care either. It's eventually. stupid. It's, it's, it's it doesn't really matter. Consistent. People get up. People get all up in arms about all this stuff. It's I think like, it's more of what that cares? Microsoft wants a uh, like, they're Uncharted. Mm, so, yeah. but I mean, it's obviously. No, no, that's good. Yeah, that, so. I saw that mentioned too. Wasn't that? Didn't they say it's going to compete with uh, with Uncharted Four because it's yeah. releasing around the same time? Yeah, exactly. So that's what they're whatever. Hoping, I but, don't know. You know, I don't. I don't. Just don't understand why that blew up like it did. It's like, didn't Sony do the same thing back when the original Tomb Raider came out? Because they were talking about that too. Yeah. And they said, so, oh, well, they, they locked know. it up until year two thousand for Tomb Raider games. Yeah. So whatever. I, you know, that's stupid. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, it's gonna come out for both systems eventually, so I don't know why it's it's. But it was so blown out of proportion. I it was like unbelievable. People get pissed. Good. They want them games yeah. now. Fan fanboys love to complain about anything. It's the stupidest crap ever. It's like wait for the game, play the game. It'll be good. Buy a new console. Reach it, like branch out a little bit from whatever console you're using. It doesn't really matter. But I don't know. That's. This is what 300 pound nerds living in their parents' basements want to complain about. So whatever, f them. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. Seriously. Too bad. So yeah, that's a, that's what we're saying here. If you if you want to play it, buy an Xbox or get it on PC. Otherwise, too bad. Stop crying. So that's it for the news. Yep, that is it. <laughs> that's it for the news. What do we got for reviews this week? I don't know. I'm going to talk games. about I'm going to talk about pure pool. Let's talk about, talk pure, about pool. pure pool. We're talk about pure pool. <laughs> and yeah. Here we go. I'm just gonna discuss a little pure pool for you. All right, fine. Well, we got two reviews this week. Pure pool is the first one. What so, uh, yeah, what yeah, put it. You're gonna roll straight into that. What, what yeah, genre is this game? Chris? Oh my god! Shut up! Damn it! Chris, Chris. <laughs> hurry it up. All right, fine. All right. Wait, so first Chris. off, I want to say here, special thanks to Phil from Ripstone for showing us this game at E3. Yeah. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have had any idea this game was coming out. It would have definitely flown, flown under the radar for us. So there you go. Um, this is a download title for PC, PlayStation 4. Xbox One is TBA, so it'll probably come out on Xbox One, but it's not out on, on that yet, um, you know. So, pure pool. You can tell from the gameplay here, it's about what you what do you expect. It's a pool simulation. Oh, and, uh, okay. So these guys, though, Vufu, uh, Phil was telling us, Phil from Ripzone, these guys are known for doing photo reel games, and that's one of the things here. I mean, this stands out. So, you know, it does feel like when you're, when you're you know, hitting the balls here, 
<laughs> yeah, what, what is it? Yeah, some of the stuff, some of the stuff is in. Uh, it's it's like, That's like the dirtiest it's, thing you've said it, on this it's, show. It's British English, right? So it says like, oh, you got to pot the balls. And I was thinking, is that is that like you correct? Like that the was, balls? It's like, yeah, Are we no, really it's talking potted. About it. Put the balls into the pot. So whatever. It's called billiards. Make sure, make, billiards. Make sure no, make, billiards is different. Yeah, put the make, balls make in the sure you're, Make sure you're putting. Yeah, yeah, see, I told you this working was, that I told, I told, I told you this was, I told you this was going to be a mess, right? <laughs> Let's see. What else did I have here? Yeah, photo real graphics. Online, I think the online mode is like this game's, you know, big thing. Got to crit all those balls. <laughs> yeah, great. What? I can tell. I can tell this is not so good. So online mode is never So it has a big competitive scene behind it? Yeah. And I there's, suck at pools. They've I'm got this, like, uh, they've got a DNA yeah, profiling feature. Yeah, you definitely suck at hitting so If you have people on your friends list, you can play against them offline. They don't necessarily have to be online. Oh, so, so it, like, takes their profile. Like, yeah. It kind of does an AI based on, like, their play style? Exactly. Oh, okay. So it's like, don't they have that in like Mario Kart? They have, they like have that in the newest shit. WWE iOS oh, yeah. cell phone game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm a fan of that sometimes. Sometimes it feels like I'm just playing like a slightly better AI though. It, so it, it, it's good because you can jump into multiplayer games real quick. But I feel like for me personally, and maybe it's just, I, I haven't played this game, so maybe it's different here, but I feel like sometimes when you play against that, it doesn't have the same exact feeling as playing against another actual player, but I guess it's, you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Especially if your friend isn't on the game at the time. Right, right. So I do want to cover here, before we move on, I do have a couple things to nitpick, but, so as you can tell, there's a couple modes here. I forget which one this one is. There's like a... Uh, there's challenge modes, there's a career mode where you just play against the AI and like different tournament type things. There's one where it's like speed pot or something, so it's like you just keep hitting, you, yeah, you, you, try, you try to pot, yeah, you try to pot the balls or you, you know, you try to sink the balls into the pockets. And then I hate the, it when that happens when you just want to sink a ball into a pocket. There's a there's another <laughs> mode where it's like if you don't sink enough of them in time, it'll add another one onto the onto the pool table. Wait, it has more balls into the pocket? Yeah, oh. you get hit by more balls <laughs> if uh, if you don't pot them fast enough. Oh my god. <laughs> there's uh, there's some customization here. So we're playing on the ripstone table here, but you can change the uh, you can change the pool colors. You can uh, you can get upgraded pool cues and stuff, but I didn't get too much into that. So you can upgrade your shaft. Now, can you color your no, balls? No, you can upgrade. You can upgrade your pool cue. <laughs> Tom, you're killing me. The, uh, I'm I'll just mention, discussing so, the mechanics of this game. It's a, it's a download title, so there's not. I mean, it, it's what you'd expect from a from a cheaper downloadable type of game. One thing I want to mention: the soundtrack is actually really really good in this. It's like a jazz lounge style type thing, and there's only there's only a handful of tracks, but the like that was one of the standout things I thought was uh, was made this one appealing. So the, how, wait, how, so how many tracks total? Like. Oh, like ha like half a dozen probably. Oh. It, it's it's good oh, though. Okay. That was one of the things I liked. Yeah. Because so, I was wondering if is that is that really enough where you just keep he hearing the same exact music over and yeah. over ago? Where you like get oh, oh yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. You like definitely generic, do like bar lounge music to kind of put you in the setting. But yeah. it's with this this whole type of feel it's is little, like, wait, like you're so in this it, like it, it's a little mood music while you're sinking some balls. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, jackass. <laughs> so you can tell though, like the environment here, it's like a lounge, and then like you'll hear you'll hear people in the background chatting and stuff, and you'll hear like, it's just like crowd noise and stuff. Yeah. And then at the end of each song, like people will clap, and like that was just a really cool touch that I thought that yeah. this this title had. So, I mean, I played like I only played like a few minutes of it at E3, and from what I played, like it's it was pretty solid. Like I I from, you know I enjoyed it. Sure. Um, but you know it seems like it, I don't know. I don't think it's breaking doing anything so new that I'm like one away, but it definitely seems like a, a solid, uh, like a solid title. Right. So. Well, yeah, that that'll figure into the uh, the score at the end here. So a couple of things that I did find annoying. I'm trying I'm trying to see from the footage here. You can't tell from what we're looking at now, but there's there's one thing in particular, and I did see some people complaining about this. You can see how it kind of draws that like it draws that band that shows like where the cue is going to go. Yeah. And so, like that—that's how you aim your shots. Now, if you're trying to—if you're trying to hit one of the balls far, like way farther down the pool, down the uh, down the table, like that thing, like 
on these longer ones, like it, it's like messed up. Like you can't you can't actually see because there's actually two of them. There's a band that shows where the cue ball is going to go, but then there's another one showing the tra tra trajectory for the ball that's going to be hit. And like on these longer shots, it's just like it just like fizzles out. Like you just can't see where the hell it's going to go. Yeah. And so for some of those, it's just awful. Like it's so bad. I'm sure, it's there but, for every shot because when I'm from watching this, what I got yeah, makes see, me think of uh, it makes me think of. Uh, not Bubble Bobble, but the little dinosaurs. What was the next game they were in? Uh, I don't remember. You know, oh, you know man. what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, bust a move. Shoot. Yep. All right. So that the little banner came, comes back, but it makes me think of Bust a Move when you start off and you have the little aimer, and then it, it goes away after. Yeah. Uh, this one reappeared. So. So that I, that's actually yeah. a cool thing there, where it just showed the uh, like it like when you sink the eight ball, it like slows down and stuff. It, it does that every time. So yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a cool. Little, little, Lomo effect there. Right, right. So, so see, yeah. So the yellow band it shows you where where your shot is, you know, where it's going to go if you if you go based on your current, you know, aim. But yeah, like farther down, I'm trying to. Hopefully, the footage will show it. But like some of these, where the pool, like the balls will be like way down at the opposite end of the table. Like you cannot, you have no. Like it's just like okay, like line it up and like hope it even goes close to it. So that was that was kind of a pain. The rest of it, though, like, it's really intuitive and it's easy to, like, line things up and do it. It's just, I don't know why. And you can't, you can get up, like, I think there's a, what does the thing say? Yeah, you can, you can hit the, for here it's a PC, so it says D to stand up. So you can stand up and, like, walk around and, like, shift the camera, but, like, it still, it still doesn't help. Some of these, you just cannot see where that yellow band is, and it's like, it's like, okay, cool, like, it's I'm like just going to do this, cause, waste, yeah. it, waste my shot. So whatever. I do how you do what buttons it's for you do that shit. Lay down on the table behind the back shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. They, they, yeah, they don't it. have that. There's no like crazy trick shots and like bridge shots right, and point like in the sequel. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that would have been cool. That, that that didn't that didn't occur to me actually. The other thing I wanna mention is the AI in this game. There's times where, like, like I was playing it, I could tell, like, all right, yeah, the, the AI is, like, giving me a free pass. But there's other times where, like, you'll just sit there and the AI just runs the table out. So you just sit there and watch it, and it's the stupidest thing ever. So it's, oh, like, shit. how is this, like, I'm not even playing at this point. I'm just watching the, I'm just watching the AI kick my ass. Yeah. So that, that was kind of a letdown. When you run the billiards, sometimes that shit just happens. Yeah. It's true. Well, I guess. Well, in that respect, then, I guess it's accurate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're when you're when you're just when you're slapping your balls all around the table, sometimes these kind of Jeez, things just I happen. I opened up a can of worms with this bullshit, didn't I? All right, I mean, well, the, the, well, the mechanics. Like, the, I, I one thing that I can appreciate about this title is that I really enjoy a good slow motion action replay after I use my shaft to sink some balls on the table. Wonderful. What, what is this Nyan Cat table here? Yeah, wonderful. You know. <laughs> Let's <laughs> let's put up let's put up a score for this yeah, so one. What are you right? talking here? Yeah, so we have it. Here we go. All right. So obviously, you know, you can kind of tell. I think this is what they were going for in here. This is for a pool enthusiast. I don't think you know a casual might pick this up, but you know who. This is the type I of mean, thing they know who their audience. I is. feel like yeah, exactly. I feel like this is very casual. Uh, and the same goes if like if you're traveling somewhere. Uh, if you need something quick to play, like I feel oh like yeah, this would you, be, could, you could definitely you know, just pick this grab up, grab this, and play for a few rounds. It's awesome for that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I I think think was in the wait, so Nick, so, wait, so Nick, this begs the question: So when you're traveling on a short trip, you do like to play with your balls? <laughs> Uh, I did a no, few no, times no, when I was no, at yeah, that, no, yeah, that, your house that, in your bathroom. Yeah, that, 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 that if we're going to make testicle penis it, jokes it, about this game, if you had this game on the go, you could say that you were playing pocket pool. Well, that's lovely. You can say you're playing a little nine stick or whatever, they, whatever it is they right, call it's done. pool games. All right, <laughs> okay, let me get so it out there. Get off. The game, the game yeah. looks awesome. Buy it. It's a pool simulator. Still looks really cool. Yeah. T totally. The, I mean, I've played some bad pool games in the past. There were some real shitty ones. This pure pool is the most legit pool simulation I've ever played. It's really good. I remember back in the day there were some where I, you just sit there. There's a million different controls. I'm just sitting there, I was like, dude, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This yeah. is like, what the hell? So yeah, definitely. If you're into pool, this type of thing, then this game is right up your alley. I cannot Moving wait. On. I can't wait until they make a pocket pool edition of this game. I already made that fucking wonderful game, asshole. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just throwing it back out Stop there. Stop stealing my shit. All right. I didn't hear you. I wasn't paying attention to you. Okay. Lovely. He's looking at me. Look at this face. I'm beautiful. Our second review this week, Shovel Knight. Playing catch up here, but let's talk about Shovel Knight. What do you guys want to say about this? How many so, jokes you make about this, this game? Game. Hold on. As you guys know, obviously from, you know, with Gamesling Gamblers, I'm terrible at retro games. 
nobody watched that show. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, well, anyways, that? but, you know, like, obviously I, I appreciate, you know, retro games, you know, with the music and the graphics and everything like that, like... You were born I, in, like, 1995. What do you know about retro <laughs> games? <laughs> Actually, no, I wasn't, but okay. I was born in the 80s, you idiot. Only for, like, 10 days, but, you know, 89. I was still there. Doesn't Not count. The tail end of it. Exactly. I was, I was born in the 80s. But, no, I, I think this game kind of, like, definitely brings you back and then, like, definitely adds some newer elements. Uh, yeah, I, you know. I, would, I wish there was a physical copy of this game so I could use a real shovel and bury it. Yeah. But, All uh, right, this is Yacht Club Games, yeah. right? Kickstarter these, funded. The Kickstarter funded. These are guys from, uh, from Way Forward, right? They yeah. spun off and they wanted to create a different type of thing than Way Forward usually does. Um, so it's a 2D platformer with RPG elements. Uh, we played it on Let's Lean, like we mentioned. Um, I thought it was awesome. And this yeah. one, we had talked about it on Let's Lean, but I had no idea this was even coming out. And then this, like, this blew up, like, massive. Like, this yeah. was all over Twitter. This was hitting all this the is, review sites. They like, like this a, got everybody's attention. I think they, the Kickstarter funded it ultimately, it made, like, 300, was it? Yeah, 300,000? Uh, yeah. That's how much was put into it, and that's what they used. And, like, obviously the outcome was, like, like awesome. I mean, I think this is, to me, this is, like, the best game of the year so far. Really? Well, that's not saying much, but yeah. I think it's awesome. Yeah. It's All right. Pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not. I'm not ready to throw uh, the the coveted G O T Y. So far, so far. So yet, far. Um. Because there's we, uh, we got the. Uh, let me talk for fall. a second. All right. Talk. All right. This game no. is friggin' awesome, though. I Chris, I was the one ranting on about this game. I I picked this up on my 3DS like day one, and I I beat it in like two sittings and then i went through the majority of new game plus on the following setting it's literally like if you like mega man if you like castlevania if you like dark souls if you like what's another game it basically takes from castlevania DuckTales? to ducktales yeah how the fuck did i forget ducktales with the shovel jump i mean this game this is this game is a retro game lover's dream it, it just takes all the best elements of all those games i mentioned Dark Souls isn't a retro game, but it you know it takes some ideas from that too, and just puts them into a friggin' blender, and you get this like fine palette of classic style gaming cuisine right here, and it it's friggin' awesome. Seriously, that's all I have to say about it. I think it looks good. Um, it has a it has a very pleasing uh, retro look, and the soundtrack is extremely. Oh yeah. Effective. And, and that's I don't know why thing. I didn't forget about that. Yeah, the soundtrack was done by Vert um, Jake Kaufman. Yeah. He's done lots of other stuff, but yeah, the soundtrack was excellent. Yeah, he, I was, he really nailed really it, though, good. because, you, you know, that, that's a big thing for me with retro games. Is that, does it have that, like, catchy, like, sort of repetitive, but, you know, in a good way, like, soundtrack? Like, to me, it, it stands up. It just with, plays with, the same beat over and over, but it's so catchy. It, that you have to keep, but it's, it's okay to it, hear. It's creative. It stands up to me with, you know, right next to Mega Man and the best of Castlevania. I mean, because those are some, in my opinion, some awesome, like, mem memorable retro game soundtracks. And, and this one goes right along with it. And, you know, I, I loved every second of it. Yeah. Great game. It, great great review. So great review. One, I want to get this. What, what's your problem with me thinking this is so far the best game of the year? So far. I just think it's a bold statement. That's so far. Well, it's a different style of game. It's not trying to be the, you know, triple-A sell 500 million copies. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, it's an awesome game, and I look forward to a sequel. Game of the year? I don't know. There's still a you lot so to come out. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying so far. But so so far, the games that can't have come out in 2014, what would you think would be better than this? I'm not at liberty to say right now. But this game, let's talk about this game. It's awesome. You get a ton of upgrades, too. Um, like you showed there, you get the special glove, and you can punch through the sand. Oh, my God. It's too, too friggin' good. Yeah, I thought that a lot of the special abilities, I feel like I didn't use them all the time. You weren't required to, um, I except for like special was, stages, but they certainly, yeah. um, they, they definitely help. It, you could play it your way. Yeah. It's like the Burger King of retro games. Have it your way. Yeah. Have it your way. All right. Yeah, no, thanks. Sorry. Shut the yeah, fuck I don't up. like good games. <laughs> No one gives a shit right. about your vegan yeah. ass. It was great. You can probably tell, yeah. you can probably, probably tell this is coming, right? Must buy, must go buy. get it. Must it's buy. worth the money, right? Definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna it's on, it's on, how many platforms? It's on It's on the Wii U, right? It's on yeah. the 3DS, 3DS, PC. PC, and that might be it. I okay, think, no I think PS. 
I no PlayStation Nintendo, or Xbox? As as, except for PC, I think Nintendo grabbed this one for like their big like uh, download title. Nintendo finally got an exclusive on a game that's not Mario. I mean, they, they Mario. sneak in with a couple of exclusives every every now and then. But yeah, I mean, obviously it came to computer too. But, you know, I feel like going to the Nintendo platform, this has a good audience. Uh, and it's great. And what, it's like 15 bucks, I think. It might even be cheaper now. It's it's definitely well worth the money. It's yeah, you know, very enjoyable game. Yeah. The chat wants us to. The chat wants us to talk about Rogue Legacy. So I'm just gonna say, Rogue Legacy. <laughs> oh, there you let's go. Let's talk about Rogue Legacy. Hey, I've been in Rogue Legacy. Rogue Legacy was fucking awesome. I, I sat there. And I played that game for days. I mean, I, I forget how I beat the, all the bosses, but I definitely went through like a ton of like dyslexic guys. You had guys with vertigo. You had guys with nearsightedness and farsightedness. It's awesome. If you like uh, rogue type games, if you like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, this is a perfect combination, and you should play that game too. Great review. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fine. There, well, there, yeah, there, 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 there you go. Yeah, apparently. he's the only one who knows about it. So there, there you go. Jeff played it. The chat also wants us to fire Jeff. So Jeff, you're also fired. Thank you for your service yeah, to saw, your country. I saw. I saw that. You know. Why do you want to fire me? It? Yeah, chat, chat. Listen, I chat here. a glowing review on Rogue Legacy. Yeah. You asked for you on demand. Listen. These guys, assholes couldn't do it. Listen, guys, in the chat. Sure. Give us three reasons why we should fire Jeff, and then we'll think about it right now. Yeah. Three reasons. Or give me the top five yeah. reasons why I suck. Yeah, the top, top five yeah. We, we, only take, we only take submissions in top five form. And yeah, on that we're... note, that's going to do it for this week, guys. So for more news and videos, check out our website at GameSween TV. Next week, we're talking Murdered Soul Suspect. Any other final words? No. Glad uh, glad to be back. No. Yes, glad to be back. Definitely, man. Definitely. We fell off. We fell off the freaking track, man. I've been yeah. hooked like, on crack, cocaine. Yeah. Jeff, I got Jeff has been in and out of rehab twenty times. I'm probably gonna be dead by the end of the week. So yeah, Jeff. Jeff quit his job as a telemarketer. Now he's a male hooker. Yeah, and business too. isn't looking good. So shit. I haven't yeah. pooped in a week. <laughs> Gross. Gross. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that that one. Take some Metamucil and you'll feel better. All right, I think. guys. Thanks Let's for joining us. Think. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Keep playing. We'll see you next time on Game Queen. <laughs>